Hey guys, let's talk about what's wrong with Hollywood today. You know, so many people in Hollywood have done more than wander from a biblical worldview. They're actively working against it. Now, I'm not trying to be a complainer or like a super religious person. I'm just saying like we should really think about the worldview that Hollywood has today and some accountability that they're going to have for it. First Thessalonians 2, it says this, Paul is writing to the church in, in uh, Thessal- Thessalonica there. He says, for some of the Jews killed the prophets and some even killed the Lord Jesus and now they've persecuted us too. And so you can read about that in the book of Acts, but basically this group of worldly people, you know, not Hollywood, but we're, we're making the connection here. They were working against uh, Jesus. They're working against the message of the gospel. And look what Paul says to them. He says, they fail to please God and they work against humanity. And as they try to keep us from preaching the good news of salvation to the Gentiles, by doing this, they continue to pile up their sins. But the anger of God is caught up with them at last. I think this really applies not just 2,000 years ago to uh, the people there that were working against, actively working against Paul and the gospel 2,000 years ago, but it even really uh, helps us to answer this question, what's wrong with Hollywood today? So first, they fail to please God. We saw that there in in the people working against Paul in, in the New Testament 2,000 years ago. They fail to please God. They think they're pleasing God in this case. The, the, these Jewish zealous people thought they were pleasing God, but they weren't. Now, certainly people in Hollywood today don't think they're pleasing God. They really don't give a rip. And that's kind of the point, but also they actively work against the truth. It's not some passive thing. They're not just like, hey, just do, you know, do whatever. No, they're promoting their own worldview that, that goes completely against a biblical worldview. This is what uh, this is in essence what Paul was saying about these people 2,000 years ago they, when he says that they work against all humanity. What he's saying by that is what they're doing isn't just affecting themselves, but they're actually actively working against humanity because the message of the Bible is for humanity. I mean, this is good for all of humanity. So anyone who is working against the gospel is actually working against people. They don't think of it that way, but they really are. Jesus said it like this in Matthew 18, if you cause one of these little ones who trusts in me to fall into sin, it would be better for you to have a large millstone tied around your neck and be drowned in the depths of the sea. Man, what a sobering verse. You know, you might think for yourself, I don't want to follow God, but when you drag someone else and when you malign the word of God and in a biblical worldview, Boy, that's a scary place to be, and that's kind of where much of Hollywood is today. And so so Paul would say that they pile up their sins right there back in 1 Thessalonians. By doing this, they continue to pile up their sins. You know, it's not some passive thing. It's not some neutral thing. They're actually piling up their sins. Every time they're promoting, you know, their own worldview and, and sort of denigrating a biblical worldview. And then finally, um, number four, the anger of God someday is going to catch up to them. I mean, Paul said in 1 Thessalonians that the anger of God has caught up with them at last. And he's talking about 2,000 years ago, the Jews who were working against Paul in the gospel, the true gospel, and they thought they were doing it in the name of God. Well, Hollywood is certainly not doing it in the name of God, but certainly someday the anger of God's going to catch up to them. I mean, that's a biblical thing. If you read the Bible, that certainly is what it says. Now, again, I'm not trying to you know, be some super religious guy here and complain about Hollywood. I mean, I certainly love the, the next movie as much as the next guy does. But listen, we have to be careful about what Hollywood, what the secular worldview in general is doing. This could apply to politicians. This could apply to teachers and professors. This could apply to anyone at all. Don't work against God. Don't work against the biblical worldview. If what God says is true, man, we shouldn't work against it.